In the world of computer memory, DDR3 is all the buzz. But what is it, and why should you want it? Well, we've got John here from Corsair, who is the leader in performance memory, to tell us all about it. Welcome, John. Thanks, Drew. It's great to be here. Well, let's start out. I know DDR2 is out in the market right now. What is the difference with DDR3? The big changes are, uh, first of all, the voltage supply goes from 1.8 volts down to 1.5 volts. So this reduction in, in voltage decreases the power. The second thing is they've made some changes to the circuitry uh, called dynamic on die termination that basically smooths out the signals so that they can run faster. Faster and less power obviously sounds good to me, but what are the real advantages that, pe that the users are going to see from using DDR3? Our DDR3 enthusiast memory starts at 1333 megahertz and right now runs up to 1800 megahertz. So this is a great performance increase. We're finding that uh, DDR3 is likely to go up to 2 gigahertz by the end of the year, which is, which is truly astounding speed. Tell me about how Corsair is different from the other DDR3 modules that are out in the market. Sure. I, I brought in a, uh, a sample of a, of a DDR3 memory setup uh, from Corsair. So this is a, an enthusiast platform, and you can see our memory here. You can see this is not your normal memory. We've got a, a fan on top to provide airflow, and we've got uh, some very carefully uh, engineered modules. Basically, what these modules have is, is they have a uh, thermal management technique called DHX, which basically takes heat not only out through the RAM package into a heat sink, which people have been doing for years, but also through the, through the metal connections on the RAM into the printed circuit board and through the planes of the printed circuit board to another set of heat sinks on the board itself. So this gives you two paths to get the heat out of the module, and it resolves a more thermally efficient operation and better performance. And this is something that's totally unique to Corsair. Why is it so important to keep high-performance memory cool? By keeping the memory cool for your overclocking user, you can get your memory to go faster, which is critical. For your mainstream user, keeping your memory cool means you're going to have a very stable system, which is what everyone wants. John, it seems to me that Corsair always has the fastest memory and is always first to market with these new technologies. What is the advantage? I mean, how do you guys get that? Uh, we have two real assets that, that we use here. One is we work very closely with the platform vendors so that we understand the needs of the platform and they understand the needs of our memory, and the two work very well together so that by the time the platform launches, we have the right product on the market. Uh, the second thing is uh, we have a facility within Corsair called Corsair Labs where we have literally dozens of motherboards set up on racks and we have a team of enthusiasts in there just throwing lots of different settings at them, seeing how they'll perform, uh, seeing what kind of memory works with what kind of board and so forth. If I'm going to build you know, my new computer system, how do I know how much DDR3 memory to use? It really depends on what you want to do. If, if you're trying to build the, the fastest overclocking system that you can, Right now, you want to use two gigabytes of DDR3 memory. If you're building a system that you're going to be using for heavy computing or for a ton of gaming or things like that, we'd recommend four gigabytes at this point. Finally, if you're doing a lot of uh, video processing or video editing, video encoding, that sort of thing, like I am, I have eight gigabytes in my system running Vista 64, and that makes a big difference in those types of applications.